Last week, we, we learned that, that Google had begun rolling out some new theft protection features for devices running Android 10 and higher. Now, Google has a history of taking a while to push these new features out, and since they are tied to the Google Play Services application, some have been curious if manually updating that app will unlock these new features. So today, I'll be showing you how to manually sideload the latest version of the Google Play Services application for your device. We'll begin by first checking to see which version of the app we're running, since we may not even need to update the application if the phone is already on the latest update. So we can do that by opening up the settings application and then scrolling through this menu until you find the apps option. Now from here, we need to enable the show system apps feature so if you have a Samsung Galaxy device, you'll tap on this filter button right here, and there's a show system apps toggle that we can tap. However, on Google Pixel phones, that option is buried within the three dot menu in the top right corner. So be sure to just enable the show system apps feature somewhere on this page. Then you could either begin scrolling through that list of apps until you find the Google Play Services app, or you could simply do a search at the top, as I just did. Then we're gonna tap into the Google Play Services application and scroll all the way down to the bottom to reveal which version of this application we have installed. So you can see right here, I have version 24.39.63. And you could even attempt to update this app through the Google Play Store by tapping on the app details option right there to see if you have an update option available to you. That is generally not the case, but it's always a good idea to check. So let's see if there's a new update available. I tend to use the website APK Mirror since I trust the developers behind it as they used to own Android Police. But you could download the latest version from any app repository that you trust. I'll be sure to include this link down in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment so that it's easy for everyone to find. No matter which repo you choose, find the app page for Google Play Services, and then look to see the versions which are available to you. Now, you'll want to compare the version that you have installed to the latest options listed on the page to see if there is a new one that you can update to. So remember, I have version 24.39.63 installed, and that looks to be the latest version available here unless I want to install the beta, which you could choose to install the beta if you wanted to. However, on this phone, I have version 24.28.35 installed. So I can definitely download the latest version, 24.38.64 instead. Now there are likely going to be different versions that you can install. It's going to be easier to install an update that is labeled APK instead of one that is labeled Bundle, but you could install either one. If you choose to go with the APK version, then you would just download the file and open it like normal. If you need to download the bundle, like I might need to since I'm running Android 15 on this device, then I'll need to use a split APK installer which could either be the APK Mirror Installer app or SAI Split APK Installer from the Google Play Store, both of which I will include links to in the video description as well as the pinned comment. As a test, I'm just going to download the regular APK version to see if it will work on this device. 
trying a different version won't have a negative effect. If it does not work, you'll just get an error message. But once that file has been downloaded, we can go ahead and open it up and then tap on the update anyway button when it appears. If everything goes smoothly, you'll get a message saying it installed correctly and it has been updated, but you might get an error message like this. So if that's the case, we go back. And like I said, I have Android 15 installed, so I likely need to download this version instead. You can either download the APK or the bundle. Again, I'm going to try the APK since it's usually easier to install those files rather than the bundle. We simply wait for that file to be downloaded. And then we're going to open it up once that finishes. Tap on update anyway. And after a short wait, we should get a result saying that it updated properly, or just like you saw, it did not update. And you can see this time the application was installed and it has been updated. We can even check by going back to our apps page, finding the Google Play Services app, and then looking at the bottom to check for that version. You can see now we are on version 24.38.64. So with that done, we have now manually updated the Google Play Services application on our phone. We sideloaded the new update instead of waiting for it to be pushed out via the Google Play Store. And the best part is, you'll continue to receive new updates from the Play Store like normal. If you manually updated the application to see if you have access to a new feature, like the theft protection update, then now is the time to see if it's available on your device. Just be aware that there are instances when these rollouts take time and when Google specifically sends them out to batches of devices at a time. So manually updating the Google Play Services app can sometimes work to get those features, but other times we just have to wait for Google to make the server side switch before we can get that feature. Now, let me know if you had any issues following this guide, and please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.